Okay, we've got a question about a discrete probability distribution with a normal approximation. Now, the only discrete, well, you can have discrete where you have a probability distribution where you have a table, or you've got binomial distribution. Now, as we read this, we don't have a table. There's not a table to put together. So we know this is going to be a binomial question. So anyway, when Sam collects a counter, she's picking red or blue. We've got a probability and we've got a set number of trials. So straight away, we know it's binomial 11, 0.4. And part A, we want the probability x equals 2. And for part 2, we want at least. So at least means greater than or equal to. Now, this is going to go into your calculator. If you've got the class whiz, CD only gives you less than. So this is 1 minus less than or equal to 4. You want to keep the 5, so you're getting rid of the 4. So you substitute that into your calculators. And you get 0 0.4672. Right. And then we now have, it's got bigger. So now... We've got 300 counters, and we're going to use a normal approximation. So for part B, we know when we normally approximate, the mean, or mu, is NP, and the variance is NP, oh, that's quite weird, NP multiplied by 1 minus P. So here we're going to have 300 times 0.4 and that gives us 120 and that's our mean and then our standard deviation or squared which is our variance is going to give us 72 okay and we want to find out she's going to receive at least 135 so remember at least all right so let's put that there um so we want to estimate the probability our new y is at least so greater than or equal to 135. Now we have to do what's called continuity correct. And essentially all you do there is make your range bigger. So if I've got 135 and I'm doing everything bigger, I've got to make I mean everything larger than. I want to make my range bigger than 0.5. So actually, I've got to start at 134.5. I put that in along with my normal distribution numbers. So we had y is normally distributed 120 and 72. So you stick that into your calculators and you should get 0.0437. So that's your binomial distribution with a normal approximation.